Welcome to JC's monthly series where he talks to the camera and just says whatever comes to mind and just tries to sum up his month. Like, I realized that I don't really want to, I guess, record every day and do all that. Like, I tried that back in high school and what ended up happening was I kind of had this idea that by doing that, I would become hella productive and, you know, just destroy year 12 and basically do a lot more. But instead, it just added a whole bunch more problems. So I had to make sure I edited after school to make sure that I actually did some stuff that was kind of interesting. And then there were just a whole bunch of other things that kind of gave me reasons or excuses to just not do And so, it's now like, middle of 2020, and now that I think about it, in terms of YouTube, I haven't really created the same amount of content as I did last year. In the first half of the year, I think I made over like, 40 videos in the span of 6 months. Meanwhile, this year I probably made like 10. Like, my mood and motivation of YouTube has definitely shifted. Like, I haven't really had strong urges to make videos, like, there was a week in May where I did, like, produced almost a video a day for, like, four or five days, and that was cool, that, that was, like, really good, I think. It was just the act of me wanting to show up every day. And then what slowly happened was, I slowly stopped showing up, until it eventually got to the point where, like, I started making excuses again, so Oh, I need the script, or this thing has to be like X so I can then record and film And in reality, JC, you just had to show up on the stream But I chose not to, I probably just self-indulged in a lot of manga Or video, or just random YouTube videos again Well, my videos aren't really random, they're always like centered around tech, business, or And STEM But yeah, I've just been, once again, giving excuses, and my whole idea of, like, this channel has been from Oh yeah, this channel's gonna make me super productive and super popular and stuff like that And in reality, no, I'm just exposing myself as In my opinion, someone who has half-assed ambitions And that's pretty much just how I'm gonna sum myself up, really Like, in these past six months because I've split myself again into like four or five areas and I don't consistently work in those four or five areas every day it's half-assed in my opinion like in my mind I want to I think I'm more but in reality I'm just not doing a lot and now it's kind of gotten to the point where I'm like what the fuck like Ever since I started being more like self-conscious, more self-aware and just started journaling and writing stuff down in books and stuff. It's like the same old patterns are kind of happening again. Like my grades this time, for two of my subjects, they're sitting around mid-70s. And on my first assignment, I was like, oh yeah, that, that's like an easy 90, I got like 60. And, <laughs> yeah, it just wasn't that good, in my opinion, like, I'm just slacking in a couple key areas. And I've also been, I guess, a bit lonely, like, I've been missing that feeling of talking one-on-one -on -one consistently with another person. Talking with the people I do now, it's not really the same. And it's not as frequent as, let's call it like, the second half of last year, that period. <laughs> and I do feel like it's kind of late to try to restart something again with them, so my best bet is to move forward again and hopefully when uni starts, meet more people. 
I do feel as though history is repeating itself again, socially and in my actions. Like I said earlier, I just haven't been working as much. Although I did start TikTok this month, and it has had a lot more success than spending like three, four, five hours on videos on YouTube. Whereas if I make a TikTok in 10 minutes, I could get like easily like double the amount of views I do on YouTube. Possibly like even five times as much, depending on uh, the type of video. Oh yeah, feel free to check that out. I just do like my weeb and manga, so manga, manhwa, webtoon. Because I like to read a lot. Like I've just been reading because if I'm not going to socialize, then I might as well just... I guess read and learn about another person's story and just get that hit of dopamine, you know, because <laughs> because I can't because I kind of don't believe in myself anymore, like right now. Like before, I did things for like reasons, like I had solid reasons as to why I did things. But now it's become... Well, no, it's not become. It's more... I just don't have a strong reason why anymore. And like, before it used to be... I'd say the only times when I didn't really have half fast ambitions was when I was moving for selective schools. But then after I moved to select this school, that's when, like, I think I, like, hyperinflated my self-esteem and completely damaged it again when the big lie in year 11. And then in year 12, I rebuilt it again. But then completely damaged it again with my um, ATAR as well as my... Uh, I guess how I ended the relationship. And just how I treat, like, how I treated friendships and stuff in year 12. Like, there's, even if I do do the things that I want, I, like, for example, uh, wait, let me just read what I was writing before. Yeah, like, like I said, before my underlying reasons were to, I guess, prove to the haters that I could do things. And back in year 10, that was to move to a selective school, even though I failed like multiple times. And then it was also to help out my parents because, uh, I guess I'll finally say it, like, if I was to talk about my, my parents' income, I don't want to reveal too much, but let's just say that my father's business back in the early days of high of my high school life kind of started to flop, and from that point on, although my mom my mother still earns like a lot, but like I just didn't want to, or like not even I wouldn't say a lot. I'd say a decent amount to like give us the things that give my family the things we need. But ever since then, he hasn't really, I guess, recovered. And that was also a big motivator as to, like, why I did things. Like, why I pushed myself to, I guess, move schools as well as to just start making money. Because I didn't want to burden my mother. Like, she worked so hard for us, yet we weren't able, like, I feel as though I'm not able to do much. Well, I, back then I didn't. Now it's okay, but... And now I'm kind of comfortable with... How everything is ish like that's the big problem like losing desire and then losing your reason as to why and then becoming comfortable like that's the biggest problem i think i have is when i get comfortable i just don't try to evolve or do as much but yeah damn <laughs> like to be honest I probably gave more details to my ex about my whole family situation, but basically I don't really tell other people this. 
mainly because I, I, I was super ashamed of it. Because I, I guess I, I was super self and en en entitled when I was younger. Like, my parents basically got me whatever I wanted back when I was like, um, up until around year five, I'd say, because that's around the time when my dad's I guess business and income started to show signs of, I guess, concern. Yeah, like, I, I really don't like talking about this publicly, but... And, like, especially putting him down, like... I just show that I'm super ungrateful, like... I've told maybe a couple other people about it, but... And I know he's trying his hardest, but... I don't know, I guess I'm just annoyed at how things turned out, because I looked up to him a lot more back then, and now... Now he's kind of just the Uber driver, like... <laughs> Just saying this like hurts me <laughs> because <clears throat> yeah, and I'm I'm just super ungrateful now. Like it's, I just abused, like him. I'm not abused like because he's more of like a house husband now rather than what he was before. Yep. Oh my my. <laughs> And yeah, on, on to what I was saying about how history is repeating itself, I'm starting to play games again, and that's uh, something that I used to do back in the day a lot. I've had periods during this month where I just delete the games. Like, I haven't played League really, other than like that one Clash day that I was asked by my friends from Ebis, or like from my old school to, or from high school to play with them. Uh, and I don't really have any like real reason as to why I'm playing GTA a lot, other than my Monash friends are also playing with me, and any game with a sort of economy system, I'm just heavily invested into. Like, I just feel like learning how it works, and then once I like get good enough, then I'm done. Like, I always just set like mini goals for myself. Like maybe that's why I always turn to games because it's always there. And there's not really any change, it's always consistent. Hmm. Anyway, these are just my main thoughts. I think I'm just gonna upload them now, like, literally, Jay-Z, uh, you just have to... Oh. I guess I'd just be more open and try to do more. Uh, as for... What I want to do in June, I still need to finish phase one of my tutoring program, which I've been working on for like the past two months. No, like to be honest, phase one should have been done January this year. But then I've, after the breakup, I kind of stopped working on it for a bit. And then I only started being serious like during COVID, like middle COVID, so on the past six weeks. But then again, that's been on and off because what people actually think I do is very different from what I actually do, which is, I read a lot, and watch a lot if I'm like, I guess, not as into it, like, to be honest, I just think I have a very weak personality, a very self-indulgent one right now, and yeah, this is JC's May update, um, I have no clue who's going to listen or watch this, all I know is that here are my main thoughts, <laughs> because I just want to create something. I need to just start creating again. And I guess the one thing that brought this up was a discussion that I had today with my dad about things, because I, I kind of got $2,000 in cash um, this week. Well, uh, technically it's the start of June now, but I'll talk more about that in a proper, like, at, in the June review, and pff, I talked to my dad a bit about, like, how the tutoring is going and how I haven't really progressed, and then he told me, like, what, you st what happened to you, like, what happened to all the stuff you put on your walls, and what happened to, like, that drive that you had back then, and then I told him that 
I just wasn't confident because I wasn't doing the things I said and the goals that I keep setting, I'm just not hitting each and every time. Like, I still do stuff, but I'm not hitting that goal. And thus, like, creating cognitive dissonance. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm ranting again. Yep, I'm just going to conclude my thoughts here. I'm going to start my online journal again so I can start to, yes, provide a bit more to you guys. Because I do write in my journal every day, but I want to create like one big doc or like one relatively small document about my thoughts on that month. Just to like track how I am progressing as well as just sharing it with others, I guess. Yep, um, thank you for listening and watching. Note to self, make sure to watch these. At, I mean, don't even watch these, just listen, like, if you want to anyway. Like, <laughs> I see, I don't even know if people, like, want to know about this. Uh, but I am keeping this more for myself and for if I do have children, <laughs> for them to see as well. So, uh, thank you for listening and watching.